Hello, it's Patrick here from the GarageBandGuide.com. Welcome to GarageBand Q&A, the video series where you, the viewer, get in touch with your GarageBand questions and queries, and I do my best to answer them for you. Kelly got in touch via email to ask, in your video on saving a preset as a bus setting, it appeared that you had six plugins inserted. My version of GarageBand only seems to allow four plugin inserts. How many plugins on a channel are allowed? Well, you can have as many as you want, really, although Apple haven't made it particularly obvious how to add more than four. So to do this, open Smart Controls and make sure you're on the Controls tab. Head to and click on the Plugins menu. Now, there are four plugin slots available here by default, and once these are filled, there's not really an obvious way to add more. Well, if you hover your cursor over the very bottom of the audio FX box, you'll see a thin white line appear under the bottom plugin. Clicking on this line will open GarageBand's plugin menu, so go ahead and select whatever plugin you want to add, and you'll see it will appear as the fifth plugin in the audio FX box. Now, just repeat the process as many times as you need to, although bear in mind that adding a lot of effects may uh, negatively affect your max performance. You don't want to see that spinny beach ball of death if you can possibly avoid it. So there you have it, that's how you can add more than four plugins to GarageBand's audio effects box. Thanks, Kelly, for a great question. If you like this video, then hit the like button. It really does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next GarageBand Q&A. Bye for now.